Okay guys, uh, this is the first part that I printed with the Tallman Bridge material. Uh, as you can see, I, I have a little bit of a seam and it's a little bit discolored at the seam. Um, so that's something I'm going to play with. Uh, maybe I'll pull uh, slice Slicer up, uh, S-L-I-C-3-R. There's apparently a uh, uh, spiral vase setting that's new with Slicer or that I haven't heard about yet. Uh, so I'm going to take a look at that and see if I can get rid of the seam for these bases that I'm printing out. Uh, but it was pretty easy to set it up. Uh, I didn't know for sure that I would need an adhesive, but you definitely do if you're printing on glass. What I was using was hairspray for ABS and PLA, um, and it works really well, actually way too well with PLA. So I think probably a clean bed uh, for uh, PLA would be better. Uh, hairspray for the ABS works really well. And uh, for this stuff I'm using just uh, the a purple uh, crazy art, just the cheap glue stick. It turns, per it starts out purple and disappears. Anyways, I just put it on when it's warm, and I haven't had to worry about drying time at all. Basically, I can restart a print and wipe it down while everything's warm. Uh, it spends 30 seconds heating up, and it's good to go, and it sticks. So you can see it's pretty stringy at the end. Uh, that really freaked me out, honestly. I've never pulled this stuff off before, so uh, it was kind of too close over here at the corner. So hopefully I don't break it when I'm pulling it up. Uh, I sliced it as for a vase, um, so it printed this bottom layer, which I'm not cool with. Uh, I'll have to figure out a way to get around that, but... Um, it looks really good. I calibrated it this printer last night and it's already off just a smidge. So this corner ended up being a little too close. And there you can see that is crazy. It's really weird. It is super resilient stuff. Um, I'm going to go pull you over into the light. So we can see this a little better. Uh, so there you go. Look at that. Um, I kind of wanted to take the back off. You can see it's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> this stuff's cool. It's really super flexible. It's super strong. And uh, you see, I had a couple skips right there. But I think if I uh, increase my flow rate by just a little bit. I think I'll get perfect prints and that came off really nice this stuff is awesome uh, from what I hear this is supposed to be an improvement over previous nylons in that previous nylons really I guess needed a specialized build platform you had to switch out your build platform for it something called Gerolite or or use cardboard or just different stuff and basically I wanted to make it accessible for people that it's, it's uh, don't know what they're doing and so they can use different materials uh, so switching out build platform isn't really conducive to an, an easy uh, printing environment so this stuff's awesome super cool I, I recommend it yeah